Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria in Minecraft video. Minecraft, but it's Terraria, something like that. We've done at least like 10 of these, but we're back with a mod that I checked out in the past. And this mod used to be a Forge mod, but now it's a Fabric mod. If you guys don't know what Forge and Fabric is, it's pretty much like T-Mod Loader, but for Minecraft. And there's two different versions. You could do Forge and install Forge mods, or you could do Fabric and install Fabric mods. And we're here today checking out the mod. My boy Ryan sent me the mod to check out here and I said yes let's do it because I owe him you know the previous version of the mod the one that was on forge updated a bunch and I never checked it out here I am paying up for it and checking out the uh, most recent fabric version let's get right to it don't want to wait let's start with the armor I guess might as well oh look at the slime spawning in look at this dude my boy pulsating look at that but yeah we got all the armors here copper iron gold okay not all of them uh, obviously this mod's a work in progress lots of stuff to be added in lots of stuff to be tweaked uh we're gonna see a lot of work in progress stuff that isn't finished obviously look at me i look beautiful you could almost see my eyes so let's just check out what all these look like uh, obviously they all give you different armor look at the armor these things are strong i'm assuming the uh mobs are gonna be strong as hell if the armor is strong and then let us see the weapons so the copper short sword does five melee damage for a critical strike chance uh broadsword does eight and four let me go ahead and just take these out i guess along with some arrows kind of interested to see are these like any different in terms of how they work i think they're all just swords just for now we're gonna hit a blue slime it's gonna take four hits okay and then we switch to the broadsword we hit a blue slime i'm assuming it's gonna take less look at that drop gel and then we got the bow holding the bow towards us very interesting oh it does shoot like old school minecraft bows as you can see so that's probably still a work in progress but i do like the old school minecraft bows those things were automatic literally but yeah so assuming everything else is like that we don't really need to check out every single thing in terms of the weapons i will check out this golden bow here with the flame arrows just to see if it works yep working fine all right on to the next stuff here we got the tools you got the pickaxes as you can see their stats here awesome let's take out the gold ones of course you got the bars to craft them and then we got potions and life crystals let me go ahead and hop in survival here hopefully i don't get assaulted too much and uh we're just gonna see the speed of the axe as you can see pretty fast i broke the last piece the uh leaves are still floating there <laughs> the pickaxe we need some floor to test on or some cobble to test on i don't know how deep i have to dig for cobble though we might have to dig a little too deep i don't really want to test it anymore unless we have stone in here ah okay good we have stone in here let's see it in action look at that pretty fast gold pickaxes are obviously pretty damn fast because uh in pre-hard mode they're up there in tools but yeah let's see the life crystal our health in the top right should go up that was really loud let's get it to 200 but yeah i'm assuming they just work how any regular potion will work at least in terraria you know you just right click it at least in minecraft you right click it you drink it boom uh we got a bunch of random items here that i just have in this chest awesome and then of course we got a bunch of random blocks we might as well just see what all these look like some of them don't even look like blocks but they are blocks we got the dirt of course or the actual dirt this is grass we got the stone we got the ash we got the mud the sand snow marble that's that's a granite that okay that's interesting <laughs> we got the wooden beams everyone's favorite background wall block hybrid we got ebon stone hopefully that doesn't corrupt everything and then of course we got a bunch of the ores here iron gold we got ruby sapphire we got bottles look at that bottle texture and then we got mushrooms so there you go that was all the blocks now let's get in to the real interesting stuff here i should go into creative again let's obviously spawn in some mobs now some of them are gonna work some of them aren't uh, and some things are gonna be buggy work in progress mod again let's start with the slimes we've seen these guys all, all over the place so there's nothing new and then we have the demon eyes let me make it nighttime here just to make sure the uh, demon eyes work correctly of course boom look at that now i was told that there is a death animation for the demon eyes so let's uh let's check that out here get a couple swings on it this thing is kind of tanky oh there you go kind of like face plants into the floor very nice let's see a regular demon oh my god look at him oh <laughs> so yeah that guy also has a death animation too look at this i have multiple different demon eyes coming towards me another one coming towards me get away i'm in creative mode and they're still aggroing on me fuck off i'm gonna go ahead and make it daytime here and look at them they fly off so I don't know what other mobs work. Uh, we got a granite elemental and eater of souls. Not sure if these ones are finished. Oh, looks very cool though. Uh, and then we got the granite elemental. Oh, this one looks interesting. Reminds me of the uh, Thorium boss. 
it seems that things do tend to follow you around even when you're in creative but yeah let us go ahead and check out the king slime here i know that this boss is fairly done uh not completely it might have a bug where it shrinks and grows when it's not supposed to but let's see it oh shoot we got a health bar oh my god he landed on my head look at him look at him look at his crown he's missing a couple gems on the crown here maybe he hasn't earned those gems yet but yeah let me take out the uh golden bow with the flaming arrows and let's look at his health bar oh my god that is a big fire but yeah look at his health bar he's taking hits he should be dead in no time with this bow uh he's spawning in tons of slimes of course as he usually does i wonder if his like size actually actually changes the more we damage him uh, a little hard to tell with the fire boom we killed him did he drop anything work in progress mode he didn't drop anything maybe he did i don't know oh there you go now he's gone but yeah that's cool no idea if the uh I cthulhu works here but we might as well try it boom I cthulhu oh look at that does have a health bar he does spawn in that's good to know gonna make it daytime look at him fly away <laughs> wait that wasn't him what the heck now who flew away somebody flew away not him all right now that we went over the more major features we're gonna check out the tinier things to end off the video here so i've been told that liquids work a little bit differently uh they behave more like terraria liquids let's see wow look at that <laughs> what about water there you go now that's that's a little bit more like terraria but as you can see i am playing on the snapshot version i'm playing on version 21 w15a very cool that fabric well i guess maybe forge has the uh, ability to too but uh, I, I always like playing on the minecraft snapshots i like my minecraft to be up to date as possible whether it works or not but yeah there is obviously a bunch of biomes does it say what biome we're in no the biome is null so i'm not gonna look through and find every biome but if i do tp here if i tp to around negative 150 we should find the underworld which this is one of the cooler features oh my god hopefully you guys can see let me drink a potion just in case not only is this my favorite feature of the recent minecraft versions but look at this terraria mods are gonna be able to take advantage of minecraft's latest updates look at this we can see granite biomes over here we got life crystals this is really cool of course we got all the stone generating everywhere ores and then look at this we drop into the underworld and you can hear the music change too this is awesome i like this this is definitely probably my favorite feature so far i know there's another terraria minecraft mod that i checked out uh, which i might do some things without mod uh, very soon I know that mod also had an underworld, so it's really cool how they're adding in the underworld. Uh, we got a bunch of web here. Very cool. Found a spider biome. So there's a good bit of biomes added in. Uh, there is colored lighting too. I don't know if you guys can tell. The ores have like a little red tint around them. Some of them have different color tints. Also very unique. But yeah, that honestly is it for right now. The mod is a work in progress. My boy Ryo is working on it hard. Uh, this used to be a forge mod. Like I said, now he turned it into fabric. He moved it to fabric and it's been working from scratch from what I know and i'm hyped to see the progress like this is already a lot of progress it's pretty dope so far but yeah make sure you guys keep up with the progress of the mod make sure to check out anything you can with the mod i'll leave all the links and stuff in the description thank you for watching i'll see y'all next time have a good day